gotta rank them all. Pokemon. Welcome to Spelunkers, a place for exploring video games and nerd culture. I'm Ryan, and this is Gotta Rank Them All, the Pokemon ranking show where Chris. Hello. And myself get a guest every episode, randomize a list of 20 Pokemon, and put them in the most officially arbitrary list of all time. Our guest this week is the ecstatic and over exuberant <laughs> real live skeleton. Woo! It's me! <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Skelly? I am excellent. Ready to it's Pokemon it on. Fantastic. Well,. Uh, one short question before we get going to the ranking. Yes. Uh, let let the people know what your uh, your history with Pokemon is. You know, everyone's curious about like where you're coming from with your decisions on the ranks tonight. Sure. So you know, your uh, your Pokemon street cred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as a young hatchling, I used to watch <laughs> Pokemon. Obviously, it came on like right before school or whatever. It was like my fucking jam. And then after school, I'd watch it. It was super great. Uh, played the games. I think I played Yellow and Crystal, and then I didn't touch it again until Sword and Shield played them both. Mistake. The same game. <laughs> That's my history. Uh, so yeah, uh, Pokemon has always like had a very like near and dear place in my heart, because who doesn't want to be 10 years old wandering through the uh, world catching little animals? Yeah. I who mean, doesn't want job. to be the very best? Like no one ever was. Exactly. I've got to catch them all. I have to. But I'm a choice. <laughs> well, that's a lot of time catching all of them. <laughs> These days, time. yes. It is yeah. hundreds of hours. Yeah. I mean, it's a full year of podcasts to rank them all. Uh, so, <laughs> so let's get started tonight, then. Our first pick for this evening from the Fantastic Science Machine is Orangaroo. Woo! Mm -hmm. Woo. Okay, uh, not familiar with this guy at all. He looks like he's holding a fan and wearing a cape. So not sure what vibe he's going for here. Uh, but this is, is the sun and is... moon? The right? sun and moon, yes. Okay, yeah, I yep. didn't play that. Uh, looks like he has hands for feet. Uh, it's a big turnoff for me. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's a great an <laughs> orangutan. I, I, they do it, they toes, have hands Those in... toes are too long. Those toes okay, are really okay. suspiciously long, dude. <laughs> Plus, he just doesn't look very stoked to be here, and frankly, I, I'm just not happy to have a guest on the show who's not happy to be here. Why, why did you come here today, Orangaroo? What, what are you... He's what not you, even talking. What are you hoping for, sir? <laughs> yeah, what did, you, what did you seek to gain from coming onto this podcast today? Um, Better looking eyes, maybe? Yeah, he's... That, he tri just, that tricolor look. He just looks tired. He looks like a tired looks, old orangutan that's about to keel over. Dude, it's, or uh, like whoop somebody with that fan. What is this gesture he's got going here? It's normal psychic. Oh, is that is that the sort? Like giraffe. That's the typing. Normal um, psychic. That seems yeah. almost like a. Because aren't Bad. normal weak against psychic? Normal's only weak against fighting. So I guess it gets rid of okay. normal's one weakness, right? That's kind of nice. That's true. Huh. Yeah. Okay. But normal, wait, is it normal moves Ooh. that don't work on Psychic, or is it normal that doesn't work on Ghost? That's Ghost. Ghost, ghost. okay, that's nice. Ghost, ghost also doesn't work against normal, and I think Ghost is normally super effective against Psychic, so that's actually pretty good typing. Okay, good for Excuse you, Rangaroo. Uh, it has no evolution, so that's interesting. Doesn't it evolve from something? Or was... It's a... I think so. No, it's a counterpart to Pessimian, but it's not okay. an evolved form. One was um... Sun and one was Moon, then? Is that... Probably. Probably. Let's go with probably. No more research needed. Pacimian? Yeah, so to have one in sun, you it's a trade or an event to have one in moon, lush jungle. So it's got to okay. be one's in one gen, one's in the oh, other. Oh, dude, Pacimian is way fucking cooler, I'll tell That's you that true. much. <laughs> and this one was in moon, you said, right? Correct. Yeah, I always pick the version with the worst Pokemon every single fucking time. Oh, I really? played moon. This guy sucks. I played Shield. Uh, All of those guys suck. Dude, I, know. I played Sun, so I did not get this guy. Um, interest, I guess, kind of interesting Pokedex entries in Sun and Moon. Uh, known for its extreme intelligence, this Pokemon will look down on inexperienced trainers, so it's best suited for veterans. Uh, it lives deep in the jungle, high in the lofty canopy. On rare occasions, it shows up at the beach to match, match wits with Slowking. 
So he just sounds kind of like a douchebag. Let's be real. <laughs> He's looking down on people. <clears throat> Super not great. Super not great. Yeah, he's a tired old orangutan that looks down upon his peers and is about to die and has suspiciously long toes. Suspiciously long. He's just like a bitter old man. He's the <laughs> get off my lawn type. Yeah, that's why. That's what he's smacking people for, getting on his lawn. Dude, exactly. Although I will say shiny version is low-key goaded. Pretty pink. <laughs> <clears throat> um, that's cool. So I'm looking low on the list. Do you have the list, Skelly? I do. Not. Haha, <laughs> fooled you. I thought I did. I guess I didn't have it up. Um, oh, do I get to put on the list, or is this like a joint decision? This is a joint decision. Okay, cool. But we want your input. Uh, we'll get you the list. But I'm looking okay, like in the it. below 100. Oh, night. definitely not cooler than Gyarados. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. So we can... <laughs> We're not going that high. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, I immediately went down to the, this is just a fish. This is just a... Yeah. Um, roughly, anyway. I'm, I'm yeah. down to go below that. Yeah, I'm looking around uh, like scallop. I would say above Cacnea, because Cacnea is a cactus. And, like, let's get real. This guy could blow that cactus away with his fan. Where's Cacnea? Cacnea is 112. Okay. Well, that low? Okay. okay. I was starting to look. I forgot how low that thing was. <laughs> yeah, I was like, um, wait, is that higher? Though. Um, I mean, that's fine. This guy sucks. Yeah, I'm very comfortable with saying this guy is garb. <laughs> I don't like Motham more than this guy. Motham. One sixteen. Oh yeah, Motham's a Toxel. Do you like Toxel? Let me look. That's the little baby. Oh, He's literally cool. a baby. Little baby. He's just a baby. It's just a fucking AB. Dude, it has like its bottom lip poking out or something. What is this? Anyway, not <laughs> the Pokemon. Um, not the Pokemon. So I would, yeah, below Motham is fine. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Just screw your ring. Perfect. Room. Yeah, get out of here. Nice typing, but good God. Just fix yourself up. Dude, <laughs> cut off some of those toes. Shorten them a bit. <laughs> cut cutting. off some of them. Ow. Uh, off like I'm going to close. I'm going to close this tab so I don't have to look at this thing. Uh, next up on the list, Kyogre. Solid. All right. So this dude is fucking cool. I'll tell this you is that. a legendary from uh, Sapphire, <laughs> Pokemon Sapphire. Just, yeah. just after you ended. So outside point. of Mewtwo, Kyogre is the only like legendary Pokemon I, I caught on uh, Pokemon Go. So really high oh, in the book for me. Cool. Yeah, I mean, he he's kind of falls in that camp of he's basically just a whale, but he's a little cooler than just he a whale. He can fly through the air, right? Can he? Uh, I don't just think through the water. Little, think just through the water. Okay, I'm thinking like like Pokemon show cannon. Oh. Yeah, we can't trust the show, all right? <laughs> they call a Growlithe an Arcanine... They say for its ground type. We can't trust the show. It's <laughs> also, okay, okay. we should mention in Alpha Sapphire, you get the primal form, which is basically just a recoloring with some more shininess on it. Okay. I mean, that looks yeah. pretty cool. It is cool. Uh, um, also in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, so that takes it up a couple points. That's true. That's true. What does it do in Smash Brothers again? Um, you know? I think it's like the when you throw the Pokeball thing, it's one of the things that come out. Yeah, but do you remember what, like, does he, like, blow Oh, does, like, a stream of water or some shit? Water? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Spritz out a stream of water. Non-damaging, but causes characters to be knocked back with extreme force. Extreme! Touching, Ky touching Kyogre will do damage. In oh, Brawl. Touch Kyogre. Yeah, I don't know. This guy's super cool. Uh, the, obviously, him and Grudon, like, their games are built very much around them. It was the first Pokemon gen to, like, build the game around the legendary. Because Mewtwo was just kind of like a thing at the end of the game, and same with all the legendaries that were in Gold and Silver. <sighs> but like the whole uh, of the game Lugia like, and Ho-Oh? Yeah, but I don't think like you you can completely skip them. So they're not really part of the mythos of the game or anything. I mean, that's that's mythos, that is true. You can the skip them. That's, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's like they actually like divulge those with different teams. There's no different teams really in in other Pokemon games, right? Yeah, no, not up to that point anyways. Actually, yeah, I don't think even after that, really. 
ever again, right? Like, I think that's the only time that we have a team Aqua and a team Magma, one trying to make in in uh, Ruby, one team trying to make the world all land, and in the other, the, them trying to make the world all water. Yeah, which team Aqua is the cooler team as well. Clearly. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Um, but 7 out of 10, too much water. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kyogre is also a super ancient Pokemon, which is pretty swell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just a pure water type, I believe. Yep. Yeah, this, I mean, it's like the Pokemon equivalent of Poseidon, basically, in the Pokemon canon. This is like the god of the oceans type, type ancient pro, uh, water Pokemon. Poseidon's a badass, so like... hmm yeah. yeah. I was really sad this thing is not in new Pokemon Snap. There's like, you can go through a bunch of bullshit to get a picture of Lugia way under the sea and they act like he's the king of the sea. Which Lugia is fucking awesome, don't get me wrong. Lugia but I would like cool. to see Kyogre. Dude, most definitely. So what are we thinking? Um Let me look toward the top some. I like it more than Gyarados. I'll say. Yes. I'll yeah. That as well. Uh I like more than Reshiram as well. I think I like it more than Glaceon. I like it more Actually, than Golda. Yeah. I like it more than Murkrow. Sorry, Alex. Oh, Zerua is cool. I, I would I would put it between Zerua and Typhlosion. It's cooler than Typhlosion, but not cooler than <laughs> I am. I like that because it pushes down Typhlosion. <laughs> and we all know that's my favorite thing to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... That's I like agree, Ryan's though. number one. I agree. Do you agree? Let's, yeah. Let's do it. I agree. Yeah. Hell yeah. Bye bye, Typhlosion. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Look, Typhlosion's going to be a top 10% Pokemon regardless. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, I guess. <laughs> All right. Good job, Kyogre. Right, yeah, number 11. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Yeah, buddy. Great Pokemon. I like uh, Alpha Sapphire's entry. Kyogre is said to be the personification of the sea itself. Legends tell of its many clashes against Groudon as each sought to gain power of nature. Yeah, super cool Pokemon. And yeah. now a much less impressive water type, Clampearl. <laughs> so yeah, Clampearl just looks like a bunch of tits with a testicle in the middle. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> uh, really lame Pokemon here. Also pure water. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I'm I'm here to be serious. All right, this is oh, serious. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> serious face on. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is just a bunch of tits. All right, I don't know. Um, Not about it. Yeah, I mean, it's just a. This, this falls in the category of like just a clam. Um, mm-hmm. I mean. There's some interesting stuff going on in there, you know, with all the tits, but yeah, not a lot going for it. Dude, no, this thing sucks. I hate this thing. <laughs> oh, and it evolves into Goribis. Yeah, or, or Huntail. Huntail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Goribis didn't get very far on the list, as I recall. No. Yeah, 94. Um, I think this is worse yeah, than Goribis. Honestly, and it's Pokedex entries. This is in... Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Black and White, Black and White, 2, uh, Y, Fire Red, Leaf Green. Uh, it only makes a single pearl during its lifetime. I just saw that. Is this a phrase? What does it mean, phrases? Is that something it what? says? Wait, I'm just what? looking at the website that says phrases. All right, I gained a level. My pearl is growing bigger. Like, what is this? What? I have no talk? idea what you're talking what about. Game is that from? <laughs> what game do they talk about? Oh, oh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh. oh. Who would ever use this thing in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Or any game, really. Dude, Some, between 51 and 100% favorite. HP, it says, in my lifetime, I can make one pearl. And that's it. And, like, with that's an exclamation it. point, like, that's something to brag about. <laughs> hey, guess what, tits? You suck. Uh, it, it uses that pearl to amplify psychic power, but it's not a psychic it's type. It's not a psychic type. Yeah, psychic I don't even type. think it learns psychic moves. I think Gorbis can, but yeah. All right, yeah, um, this thing sucks. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. We're I'm, I'm looking down. Blow. Yeah. Remoraid. Blow seeking. Blow seeking. We're seeking. One eleven. Ah, ah. Okay, blow seeking. Blow Rattata. I'm... 
I would honestly put it at 126. I would put it at the very bottom of the list. This thing fucking sucks. I hate this thing. We can't go below J- Jinx. That's impossible. Dude, Jinx is kind of a baddie, dude. <laughs> dude, this thing is tits. Okay, but look Jinx at a picture like of a- Bruxish real quick before you before you put it below Bruxish. You should look at a picture of this hideous monster yeah. thing. Brux- Bruxish? Yeah. Yeah. Right, number 124 th- right now. I think just below Tangrowth and just above Bruxish. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. What is this? Br- what is this fish? What is this? I don't know. It's d- disturbing. I, ha- I hate that. I don't know if I hate it more than Pits, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just anywhere toward the bottom there. Honestly, I would just pretend this wasn't even a Pokemon if this was my list. I would just be like, what? It- what is this thing called? Clam she girl? says that. What is that? that? What is a clam girl? You know, there are going to be people that write in, like, why didn't you do all 25 forms of Alchemy? Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. Mm. Mm. God, I hope not. All right. Clamper, you did your best, uh, and it wasn't that great. So, next up on the list, Drifloon. He's a balloon and a ghost. Go and he's, with... like, yeah. this is one of the first Pokemon that people were like, wow, that lore is disturbing. Because it, like, steals children in the night or something, right? Is that this one? Okay, that's what I thought as well. I thought that was this one when I was reading about it earlier. Yeah, it attempts to drag children into the underworld by their hands. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. guy's pretty black and white, pretty metal. Yeah. Black and white too. These Pokemon are called the signposts for wandering spirits. Children holding them sometimes vanish. That's yeah. fucking metal as shit. Yeah, he's like super adorable to pull you in, and then fucking monster it dislikes heavy children (laughs) i would have been fucked up (laughs) dude oh that's messed up its round body is stuffed with souls and expands each time it leads someone away god it's like it's like um pennywise it's like it it's literally it dude so i I, this thing's kind of badass yeah actually like I mean, it's adorable, and I like its, it's design, cute. but also it's, like, really good lore behind it. Yeah, super, super cool. Let's see. Yeah, let's look at the list. I like, look at these other ones. Yeah. I, uh, I looked immediately at another ghost type, Ghastly, and I think I like this oh, more than Ghastly. Way, way, way higher than Ghastly. By, yeah, more by than a good Ghastly. chunk. Ghastly gets blown away by a fart. This Where's guy, Ghastly at? Almost? 66. Oh, okay. I would say higher than Bulbasaur. Yep. I would put it under Bagon. Bagon? The dragon. So we've gone with uh, Bagon. Bagon. Like dragon. Yeah. Ah! Uh, Bagon the I'm dragon. actually... I'm, I think just below Rockruff. Okay. okay. Star, sorry, Mirip. Rockruff is an adorable little puppy. <gasps> yeah, that is really cute. Okay, I'm, totally, I'm totally fine with that. Okay. Yeah. I was looking even higher, but if you guys are both feeling that area, I think that's perfectly good for Drifloon. Well, where were you looking, just to be curious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, below Obstagoon at 36. Obstagoon. Let me look at Obstagoon. I'd be okay with that. This is a pretty darn good Pokemon. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm, d- I'm down with that. I'm down with... I would maybe even would say above Obstacoon, potentially. Oh, let's go above Obstacoon. Cool. Rander Mega Steelix. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay He's with that. Admitted, admittedly pretty badass. Yeah. Yeah, Mega Steelix is pretty badass. He is very cool. Drifloon, lifting yourself to the... The upper ranks. 36. Upper portion of the list. <laughs> Uh, good showing. Good showing. Yeah, she actually uh, show. Next up on the list, <gasps> fan favorite, Ooh. Squirtle. The best Gen so 1 starter. So cool. Best Gen oh, 1 starter. Best Gen 1? Best Over Gen 1 starter. Charmander? Yeah. Yeah. Charmander yeah. is really? very good, but. Charmander's so cute. Plus, it's like I think Charmander's a better pick. pick. I think Charmander's a better pick in Fire Red, Leaf Green, but OG Gen 1, Squirtle. Oh, okay, I gotcha, gotcha. But in terms okay. of design, which one? 
because obviously it doesn't matter which game. I like water cannons, I man. Like <laughs> water cannons are cool. Dude, plus the glasses. Like Squirtle Yeah, the Squirtle Squad theme. episode. Yes. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Those that's bad. Those glass badass. shades. God, Squirtle's such a baddie. Does he have any interesting Pokedex entries? I mean, I think we know everything we need to know about him, but if there's anything okay. we need to know uh, red and blue. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerful sprays foam from its mouth. I didn't realize that it was just a back that then grew into the shell. I thought it was like a shell, like a like a turtle comes out with a shell and then grows. You know, like yeah. this, the oh my god, that's metal. <laughs> it takes time for the shell to form after hatching. The shell's rounded shape and the grooves on its surface help help minimize resistance in water, enabling this Pokemon to swim at high speeds. So it's it's a sporty shell. Uh, <laughs> it's Squirtle and Detective Pikachu is definitely nightmare fuel. Oh, I haven't I seen remember. Detective Pikachu. I haven't either, but it's just on this thing that I'm looking at, and this motherfucker is scary as shit. <laughs> I oh, it. yeah. Oh, God. I hate it. <laughs> I see dude. a picture. That's... I'm going to scroll away from that. <laughs> That's scary. Um, good thing Pokemon aren't real. That's all I'm going to say. Dude, no <laughs> shit. My God. Childhood all right. crushed. Let's go to another water starter we have pretty high up with Mudkip. Below Mudkip. Where is Mudkip? Below Mudkip at 19. Oh. Mudkip is... Mudkip is just the best maybe the best oh, water starter i don't know cute. oh that's i don't know that's hard i like i like all the water starters quite a bit but oh piplup is super cute i forgot about piplup piplup is great yeah M mudkip's also got that meme energy we like mudkip definitely it's true i would say between mudkip and sneasel for a squirtle because sneasel's kind okay of a baddie but not as bad as squirtle though i'm okay with that let's do it right there New number 20. Good job, Squirtle. Who's a good boy? Me! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up on the list, we've already ranked this evolution. I don't see the first form getting very far. Voltorb. He's worse, He's worse than Electro. They didn't even flip him upside down. He doesn't have the like interesting anime eyes. He doesn't have a mouth. No, he just looks angry. He's just a Pokemon. I mean, he would balls. kind of be cool if he could split in half. And, like, there were, like, some gnarly-ass teeth inside. That would be cool. Or but that's just, not the case. Or just, so like, Cthulhu sucks. tentacles. That'd be pretty great. Dude, fuck yeah. <laughs> Lewd tentacles. <protruding laughs> Lewd tentacles. From every orifice. <laughs> uh, below Electrode, for sure. Um, I Drake think Electrode. below Drake Exult. That's what fair. That? And, and above Aromatisse. Let's see. Yeah, Draco's a little freak. With like a I would say head. below Aromatisse. Okay. Okay. Because at least she's cute. <laughs> this thing's just, it's just literally a Pokeball with eyes. Yep. An yeah. angry yeah. Pokeball. That's it, yeah. They were yeah, trying to do a mimic. Creatures but, unknown yeah. as an extreme personality. Plus it fucking blows up and kills itself. What yeah, a lame that's void. Thing. <laughs> that's super, yeah. super beta. Which is all it talks about in the Pokedex entry is camouflaging as a Pokeball, self-destructing, hiding in power plants, zapping people, mistaking, Lame. like, yeah. yeah terrible. Lame Get out of here. Get, close this tab immediately. Next up on the list, Wormpull. Also, lame. It That's has fair. an ass for a face. <laughs> By there's, the way. There's a, a lot of Pokemon lot with asses for faces. In this one in particular, I, so I looked at all these Pokemon um, earlier today, and I was like, dude, there's a shocking amount of ass face Pokemon in this list. What is, <laughs> it? What Game is this about? Into it. I will say, dude, apparently. this guy gets points uh, in my book, because in New Pokemon Snap, you can catch a picture, and it's gone a little viral on the internet of him just, like, laying with his hands in the sky, like, fuck the world, you know? Like, I can't oh, even really? this world anymore. And uh, that's, uh, that's pretty... But that's got energy with me, you know. Let me see. I think this guy also gets points for me for being a uh, a bug that you can get in either generation and still get either 
evolved form because it just depends on whether you evolve it in the day or the night. I I like that well, stuff. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Right. So you could get a bee drill and a butter free right equivalent. Desktops. You don't have to. You don't have to trade. Get. Yeah. Desktops are beautiful. Mhm. 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 Oh, mm -hmm. and, and its shiny form is a little purple. Oh. Be cute. He's got big, adorable eyes. Um, and a big ass mouth. So cute. Yeah. Like, as far as the, you know, intro bug, um, I think he's up there higher than, like, you know, a caterpillar or a weedle for me. Yeah. I would agree. Where are they on the list? I don't know if they're on there yet. Oh, I don't okay. think we've ranked them yet. Yeah. Uh, we've ranked uh, Sawaddle, Blipbug for other starting bugs. I like oh. Blipbug more. I don't know that I like Sawaddle more. I like Sawaddle Where's more. Sawaddle? Okay. 86. Okay. Um, I'm looking at Pokedex entries here. So this thing's targeted by Swellow as prey, of course. <laughs> what a great uh, Pokedex entry. It's prey, everybody. <laughs> Guys, this thing sucks. <laughs> this Pokemon will try to resist by pointing the spikes on its rear at the attacking predator. It will weaken the foe by leaking poison. Uh, it also use its rear, uses its rear end to peel the bark off trees and feed on the sap that oozes out. Okay. Mm. Let's see. So it does I bug say, things. I would say below Picky Peck. Mm. 101. Okay. <laughs> um, Maybe even below Omastar, because if I remember correctly, Omastar is cooler. Yeah, I would say Omastar is cooler than this thing. As long as it doesn't go below Scolipede. Yeah, that's definitely the worst bug. I would say Rimmerade is, is cooler than this thing as well. Oh, but yeah, Scolipede is definitely more bad. Definitely cool. Cooler um, than this little wormy. It's a centipede. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it's cool. It yeah, has like hind a... legs. It looks like a like a minotaur look up, centipede hybrid. Look up Centiscorch. That's the real good centipede. Mm -hmm. I'd that's put the one you actually want. Right Whoa. below Pick a Peck, where we were looking uh, originally. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a good spot. I'm cool with that. Just above on the star. I'm sorry, Wormble. Oh. You deserve better, but... Yeah. It's okay, buddy. This is where you belong. <laughs> Your evolutions are gonna gonna do well, I, I predict. They're gonna I'm do sure. okay. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna do well, but they'll do okay. Uh, Next up on the list, a Pokemon that broke the type chart when it came out. Yep. Really? Sabli? Sableye? I've always said Sableye. 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 Yeah. Yeah, because he's uh, ghost yeah. and dark, so he had no oh, weaknesses. That's Until fairy. Cool. Oh. So this thing's obviously pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. It looks cool. Let's see. Let's read about it. Dude, Sableye's even... gold eyes shine with an eerie light that can strike fear into the spirits of living beings. Ooh. Yep. Uh, it eats gems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. It its mm -hmm. eyes are gems. It's got like a weird like gem on its belly, gem belly button. Yeah. It yep. has like, yeah. the cool mouth, the cool like little teeth. Yeah. Yep. Sapphire talks about uh the it eating gems and then those substances in the rocks crystallizing and rising up to the body surface. Uh, Ruby, Sableye, led, uh, lead quiet lives deep inside caverns. They are feared, however, because these Pokemon are thought to steal the spirits of people when their eyes burn with a sinister glow in the darkness. That's cool. Mm -hmm. In New Pokemon Snap, they chase around Carbinks and torment them, which is pretty cool, because Carbinks sucks. <laughs> yeah, extra points. Love, Love everything about it. Me too. I like it more than Bulbasaur. Okay, I'm down with that. I would have to say. Let's see. Let's look at some other ones. Yeah. Um, what ghost did we just rank? Drifloon? How do we feel about it compared to yeah. Drifloon? Oh, that's kind of tough. Oh, man. I kind of like this one more than Drifloon. It just, like, looks super cool and it sketchy does. and, yeah, like, and cool shady. I kind of like this more than Shaman. Or Shaman? Just okay. below Gigantamax. Yeah, 34. I'm, like, yeah, I'm okay with that. Butterfree? What the fuck? It's, yeah, it's a 
it's just a butterfree with really big wings. Oh, okay. I would say more than shaman. I would I would say more than that after looking it up. Okay, <gasps> yeah. All cool. the little skinny form is really cute. <laughs> But yeah, I would, I would probably say Sableye higher than. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Sableye Sweet. 34. Whoa, Great job, Sableye. Butterfly is cool. That's what you get for breaking the game. Is a good rank. <laughs> Are you good a good rank? Good job. Yeah, it's funny. Next. He broke the type <laughs> chart, but he was he was a very weak Pokemon, so I still don't think he yeah. really used them. Aww. I think intentionally doesn't evolve into or from anything and only a 380 stat total. So like it's only meant to be useful for a little while. They, they could have made this thing actually break the game and they didn't, which is yeah. smart. Yes. Um, next up on the list. Pinkerchin. Also another ass face. Just saying. Yeah, I, I like his name. His name is very funny, but mm -hmm. I don't like anything else. No, me neither. He just yeah, that's spiky, about it. He's, a, he's an urchin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is there anything cool in like the. Yeah, Pokedex what, what do we got here? for lore? Give me something to work with. It feeds on. This is sword and shield, the only ones we've got. It feeds on seaweed, using its teeth to scrape it off rocks. Electric current flows from the tips of its spines. It stores electricity in each spine. Even if one gets broken off, it still continues to emit electricity for at least three hours. Lame. Eh. Yeah. I mean, eh. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Part well, it's, urchin, yeah, part I would put it. Pushin. I would uh, put it above Omastar. Looking at other like water types. I was yeah. I was looking around Quillfish. Let's see what another yeah. spiky oh, water type. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Probably above Quillfish though. This thing is probably more useful than Quillfish. Quillfish is his Pokedex entry specifically says he swims slow and that yeah. he's a fish. Oh. Called that fish a poor swimmer. Which is, I mean, you, know, you got one thing going for you, bud. <laughs> Dude, I would be down to put it under Swalot. Between Swalot and okay. Almanite. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. I That's think fine. so. Yeah, I guess I like this more than I like Heatran. Yeah, Heatran sucks. I'm trying All to right. spell this thing's name. Oh, this thing is Churchin. cute. Togedemaru? Togedemaru? That's just uh, the That's Pikachu. That's electric Togepi. Yeah, essentially. Cute. Uh, next up on the list... I read that way too quick. Nosepass, the compass Pokemon. Lame! <laughs> is a nose! He's got a big nose! It's pretty what cool. Very what big is nose. just a big nose? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like an Easter Island head. That's exactly what it's meant to resemble. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it got... Oh, its nose its nose can point to the north like a compass needle. Hey, guess what? Wait. No can anyone. Yeah. Like, no, what? I can point to the north. Ruby specifically says its magnetic nose always points to the north. If two of these Pokemon oh. meet, they cannot turn their faces to each other when they are close because their magnetic noses repel one another. Wait, that makes this Pokemon fucking useless. Like, I gotta find yeah. somebody who's to my south. Walk in one direction. He's just standing with his you, back to the Pokemon the he's fighting now. Behind you? Yeah, exactly. Fuck this, this guy. This thing sucks. Uh, oh, wait. Even more suck, but I love my uh, my specific Pokedex entries. Uh, in Sapphire, Nosepass has been said to be completely unmoving, with its magnetic nose pointed due north. However, close observation has revealed that the Pokemon actually moves by a little over three-eighths of an inch every year. <laughs> oh. This thing sucks. <laughs> you, it, you can't take it with you. You put oh, it in a ball, no. and then you put it there, oh, and it can't no. move. Wait, what sort is this? What type is this? Rock. Rock. Oh, I'm shocked. Yeah. And they, he, <laughs> he did get a, a like an evolution that is rock and steel in Gen 4, I think they gave him the evolution, like later down the line, but he was completely worthless when he came out, and I don't even know that that evolution is good. I've never used it. Robopass looks dumb. It does. Evolution <laughs> looks dumb. Everything about this thing, dumb. <laughs> I hate it. So we're looking at, like, Clam Pearl territory here. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Uh, Dude, I would I... put this thing below Jinx. This thing sucks. Jinx is it a hard move. line. We can't go below really? Jinx. Really? Jinx Why? was blackface in Gen 1. It was blatantly oh, racist. Shit. That's, a, that's a good point, I guess. That's the, yeah. that's the yeah. reason why it's there. 
Ah. I she is she ice type? Doesn't she have ice, some ice moves? Ice. Yeah. She's pretty strong. Mm. No. Like, no? <laughs> not really. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, aside from the whole blackface thing, they're also not like a super strong useful pokemon oh, in experience. Man, yeah. Oh, she was a Gen 1. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. So I'd still go above Bruxish, because that thing's hideous and disturbing. I, yeah, I hate Bru I I like... I am hostile towards Bruxish. Yes. <laughs> Genuinely <laughs> hostile. You would hit it? I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Multiple times, repeatedly. <laughs> you hit that? I would say this could go <laughs> above Clam Pearl then. Okay. Yeah, I Okay. That. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's where I, I stand yeah. on that one, I think. All Both right. worthless yeah, that, in their own ways. Yeah, it's not going to get very much further than four or five up from the bottom, I'll tell you as much as this <laughs> list right. grows to the thousands. Uh, all right. <laughs> Nose pass, you did the best you could, and it was three-eighths so of an inch a year. Trash, so, <laughs> 130. Next up, Wingle, which is just a seagull Pokemon. Yeah. Yep, Spoiler. water flying. Uh, kind of cute, I guess. He's all right. Yeah. Terrible That's typing. Fine. You're just going to get eviscerated by lightning every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, What about the Pokedex entries? Yeah, let's see. Uh, Wingle rides updrafts rising from the sea by extending its long and narrow wings to glide. This Pokemon's long beak is useful for catching prey. Uh, it just talks about it being a good, a good flyer, a good glider. Uh, makes it makes its nest on sheer cliffs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Its, its favorite, favorite food is wishy washy. Yeah, its yeah. favorite food is wishy washy. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! Um, wishy washy is like the little Pokemon that a hundred of them come together to make a big Pokemon, yeah, but it's still wishy washy. Big... Yeah. It's such a weird. Yeah, Pokemon. yeah. So that only happens when you have enough health. Uh, it doesn't actually evolve it once your health passes yeah. a certain amount when you throw it out it'll it's a weird that's an interesting concept though yeah it's cool but it doesn't work well in practice I've tried practice, using right? that yeah. Pokemon it is and a cool concept yeah. um, but... um, cool thing about Wingle is it holds items such as pretty wings and pretty feathers mm, so it's got pretty mm. wings it's got pretty feathers yes that's exciting I will this is one of, this one is in new Pokemon Snap and like I have a lot of fun things to say about a lot of the Pokemon in New Pokemon Snap. I never saw this thing do anything interesting. It like flew. Yeah, and it just kind of flies around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what it does. I'm looking in the 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 Pyroar. The this is just a lion. Yeah. This is just a seal. This is just a fish territory. I think it's more like um, pick a peck to compare it to another bird. I like pick a peck better. Right. Yeah, I like pick a peck better. I like pick a peck more. I think right there, because it would eat a Wurmple in a heartbeat. Yeah. It would, that's true. It would. I'm down and with they, that. And they exist right next to each other. Perfect. They're in the water. They're flying above the water, and those Wurmples are in the the grass in Gen 3, right next door in the forest. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. All right. Wingull, you uh, did the best you could. And it was trash. Zero three. yes. Pretty bad. <laughs> Bottom third. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Uh, next up on the list, something that's gonna, I think, fare a lot better. Yeah. Rapidash. Woo! Wait, Who so are we doing love? Rapidash? Are we lumping in Galarian Rapidash, or is that? Mm -hmm. Galarian's gonna okay. be later. Separate, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no unicorn, just fire pony. Yes. Well, it's like a fire unicorn. Yeah, it's still the unicorn. Just not, yeah, just not I guess it is still. Fair yeah. unicorn. Yeah, it's the horns, just not as exact. I, I never really noticed the horn until just now. <laughs> really? Yeah. Honestly, it's, I... It's the same. Damn. Okay. All right. Wow. So All higher right. than Typhlosion now, is what you're saying, no. now that you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this thing's super uh, cool. It's just, it's a unicorn on fire, and it is very, very fast. As, oops, pretty much what all it's Dude, about. 150 miles per hour. Yeah, Pokemon Y, it gallops at nearly 150 with its mane blazing ferociously, ferociously it races as if it were an arrow. That's fucking terrifying. Oh. That thing will gore the shit out of you. Dude. <laughs> Absolutely impaled. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, the, I mean, that's pretty cool. Let's see, what are we, what are we thinking? 
I would say uh, above Cadabra. I'm looking up by Centiscorch at 24, honestly. Okay, let's see. Below Centiscorch, though, I think. Yeah, I think I like Centiscorch more. Maybe like... below Reshiram? Yeah, I was going to say I like Reshiram more, too. I think I like Gyarados more. Graplocked, though. I think I like this more than Graplocked, personally. Graplocked? He's an octopus, but also Oh, the octopus alert. guy. I, I like this more than the octopus guy. Well, yeah, I like this more than the octopus guy. Okay. I can, I can go with that. I'd probably put him directly below octopus guy, but... The octopus is he fighting water? He's just okay. straight fighting. fighting, which is weird. Straight okay. fighting. Yeah, that's the only thing that. But if he was water fighting, I think uh, Rapidash would go below. But the the fighting thing, the the lack of water still bugs me with that Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> that's and weird. I am going to hold it against him for the rest of his existence. <laughs> that's his uh, fault. Should have done better. Been born different. Rapidash. You should. Twenty nine. Yeah. Good showing, Rapidash. Although I think whenever we get to Arcanine, it's going to go even higher. Uh. Next up on the list, yes. not Arcanine. Wooloo. 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 Please. Wooloo, please. Uh, <laughs> this is just a sheep. It's yeah. an adorable it's sheep. Adorable, it's adorable, though. Cute. It's very cute. What, what? All right, we have another sheep on here. Yeah, Mareep. Yeah. Oh, I, th I think above Mareep. Let me look at it. I have a lot of oh. nostalgia for Mareep. But I don't know, I think Mareep this is kind of cool. Where is Mareep? I would say Wooloo maybe below Mareep. No, I, I mean, think Mareep has like so many cool evolutions. I think right below Mareep, mostly because electric typing. Like I'd rather use that electric type than yeah. a normal. Normal, right. right. Do we have any like lore or anything for this? Uh, we, well, we'll read Sword and Shield. It's curly fleece is such an effective cushion that this Pokemon could fall off a cliff and stand right back up at the bottom unharmed. That's if its cute. fleece grows too long, Wooloo oh. won't be able to move. Cloth made with the wool of this Pokemon is surprisingly strong. It won't be able to move. That's pretty inhibiting. So you have to, like, trim it. That would be a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fair. So uh, we're above Baggin, though? Yeah. I, I yes. think right next to the sheep. Yep. Yes. I agree with that. Alright. Number 53. Wooloo, please. <laughs> Uh, next up, something I can't immediately identify. Not like a sheep Pokemon. This is Musharna. It's an elephant? Uh, kind of? A tapir? It's tapir. a fetus. That's it, tapir. It's a fetus. That's it's yeah. a fetus. fetus. It's a developing it's a... child. <laughs> Could be. Yeah, that, uh, that's an umbilical cord. That is not smoke. That's, yeah. It's what it is. It, it makes sense. Just Death Stranding. It's just Death Stranding, Our actually. Or Resident Evil Village. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, it's kind of cute. Yeah. Um, it's like a little sleeping thing with this, blush. It's kind of yeah, cute. This was one of the early fairy types. I think it was like Aromatisse was in one version and this was in the other, I want to say. This is not a fairy type, sir. Oh, really? This is a psychic type. Psychic? Yep, from I Black and White. Psychic fairy. <gasps> oh, in the origin, its curled up appearance is similar to that of a fetus. Uh, I'll read black and white here. We've got, uh, the mist emanating from their foreheads is packed with the dreams of people and Pokemon. With the mist from its forehead, it can create shapes of things from dreams it has eaten. The name origin, Musharna, may be a combination of Musha Musha, which is onomatopoeia for eating, and Luna, Latin for moon. It's a dream eater. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Interesting. I never used one of these things. Uh, mm -hmm. I do think they look a little funky. Yeah, it looks a little strange. Yeah, I was never into it. It drowses uh, the dream all the time. It's best to leave it be if it's just woken up, as it's very grumpy. Ah, asshole. <laughs> I, <laughs> I kind of get uh, Blissey vibes, but I think I like Blissey oh, more. Blissies. I like Blissey a lot Where is more. Blissey? Six. D three. Okay, I see. Yeah, I'm just just as a. I think I like Granville more at eighty two even. I'll agree with that. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I like Blip Bug more. Yeah. 
I like this more than Clink Clang. I think that's fair. Yeah. I like it more uh, than Steeny. What? Let me see Steeny. No, it's Steeny. I... Sorry, my cat is like headbutting my microphone. <laughs> Rank me. Oh, I think Steeny is cute. Knives, you're number one. <laughs> Um, I could go above or below Steeny, but I think, yeah, above Clink Clang for sure. Okay. Yeah, I think Steeny is cuter than this fetus. Please stop, <laughs> Knives, my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's put Musharna at number 93. I'm totally Perfect. cool with that. There you go, Musharna. Uh, keep dreaming uh, for keep a better dreaming, spot on baby. this list. Next up... <laughs> Uh, absolute monster, Mega Sharpedo. Okay. Damn. Do you guys like this design? Because I busted out laughing when I saw this thing. I forgot this was a thing. It looks so I mean, much it's... worse than regular Sharpedo. It looks exactly the same, minus like some extra like fins. Essentially, it's just so busy. They added yeah. a bunch of spikes. They put a bunch more of this yellow weird crap that mm -hmm. I don't like. It's like yeah. ugly Sharpedo. I don't like it. Sharpedo can mega. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it evolves? Oh, this is an evolved it's form? A mega, this is a mega. Yeah. Yep. Oh, fuck. I don't know anything about that. Uh, oh, we have some mega evolution entries. Uh, the spines sprouting from its head are transformed fangs. If they're injured or broken off, the spines will regenerate countless times. That's kind of cool. As a consequence of mega evolution, its combative instincts exploded. The yellow marks it bears are scars from a long history of battle. So all of them have the exact same scars? Interesting. 75 miles per hour, though. That's how fast it can swim. That's pretty cool. Um, to clarify real quick, Mega Evolutions are basically like, Pokemon was like, what if we do what Digimon does, where they evolve, but then they go back to oh. their regular form after? Oh. Yeah, so you get this for, like, a fight. Oh, man. The energy from Mega Evolution runs through them, causing it sharp pain and suffering. Its whole existence is just pain. Yeah. That's sad. I think normal Sharpedo is really cool. Uh, it's not on the list yet, but uh, this thing, that I don't like it at all. I'm, it's like, I'm it's lame. worse than Mega Houndoom, which we ranked last week, and we're like, this is not as good as regular Houndoom, but still pretty cool. Right. This is not as good as regular Sharpedo, and also it just sucks. I think. I I, I think cool. regular Sharpedo is better, but I don't think this necessarily sucks. I, I, uh, I think it's okay. I, I kind of get like some sports car vibes from it, and I'm a big car guy, so like I don't know, I, I kind of dig the design a little okay. bit. Okay, I could agree with okay, but yeah. But I do like fun. regular Sharpedo more. Yeah, I think so. Same. What are we thinking? So it's cooler than Rattata. <laughs> that's, that's true. Uh, so Mega Houndoom, we were just talking about. I think it's worse than that. Mega Lopany is also on there at 77. I think it's worse than that. I like it more than Naganadel, though. Yeah, Naganadel. That's a line right there. That Elekid should yeah. not be below, but he is. Yeah, better. sorry, Elekid. <laughs> Someone needs to bring you on as their pick. <laughs> Whoa, this thing looks weird. It's an alien. It's a literal alien from Sun and Moon. Yeah. What? They called them Ultra Beasts. Yeah. It's a oh. whole thing. It just looks like a syringe, like a yes. weird wasp <laughs> syringe. And its brain is in his butt. That's dumb. This thing is cooler than that. That's <laughs> I'll true. say it. I That's don't care. <laughs> Your hot takes. Hot takes. I would, say, I would say this one's cooler than Bell Sprout. Okay. But probably not cooler than Ghastly. Definitely not cooler than Ghastly. That's that's where I'd go. I'd go somewhere in there. I'll go below Togepi, maybe. Okay. Where I want to be right beside Ryan? Mantine. Uh, 72, 73. Around that area. Okay. Ryan, you feel... What do you think? Same area? Lower? Higher? It's really considering. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, these are important decisions, Skelly. These are very crucial. I... I think I like this more than I like Mantine. That's what I'm yeah. trying to decide. Too. Okay. Yeah, Man Mantine's just a cute little. Okay. Cute little. Man, I, I can dude. go with that. I can go with that. 
Right there. That's 73. Yeah. Knives, maybe this shark is cooler than you. You shed too much. This guy. <laughs> I don't That's know. just the power. That would be in the Pokedex entry of Knives. She is, <laughs> is the shedding. Yeah, she sheds uh, a lot. That's uh, that's as good as you can do, Mega Sharpedo. Maybe maybe take some aftermarket trim pieces off. You'll be a little bit better off. Yeah, <laughs> your car is too busy, dude. Next on the list, Aloma Mola. This thing's stupid. That's dumb. They introduced, Even the re- they, they introduced oh, this thing in Gen 6. Because Gen 6 was like that gen where they wanted to start completely fresh, a brand new 150 Pokemon. And they had stuff like... Bufalant, I think is its name, and this Alamomola that very clearly look like evolutions to Tauros and evolutions to Love Disc, but they're just not. They're just new soul evolutions that also suck. Yeah, that's lame. So this came out in Gen 5 in five. black and white. <laughs> okay. That was the gen where they tried to completely restart. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, it, honestly, even the real life animal that this thing is based on is a little eh, boring. It's based what, on a, a real sunfish? life thing. Yeah, um, no, not a not a sunfish, a mola mola, I think. What? It looks like a sunfish. Yeah. A low, um, a low, no. a low. Look up mola mola, M O L A space M O L A. Okay. I'll put a picture. Oh of yeah, that that's in. a sunfish. That's a sunfish. Like a special breed of sunfish. That's cool. Okay. Oh, well, that thing's way cooler yeah. looking than this. Dude, I, I'm saying this thing looks alien as hell. It looks so strange. But enough of these stupid real animals. Let's get to our fake animals. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any good Pokedex entries? Uh... I was looking at it. If it finds an injured Pokemon, it'll bring it to the shore. Also, it has a membrane that yeah. can heal it some. It, yeah, it has the ability to heal wounds with a special membrane. Uh... Floating in the open sea is how they live. It uses... Oh, Sun Sun, Sun clarifies a little more. It uses its special mucus to close the wounds of injured Pokemon. Yes. So it's a medic. Fisher Fishermen take them on long voyages because if you have an Aloma Mola with you, there'll be no need for a doctor of medicine. I mean, that's kind of cool. We need some of those here in the US. Yeah. Dude, no joke. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. It still looks fucking dumb, though. It's, yeah, it's... <laughs> I would say lower than Wingle. I'm looking right below Swalot. Where is Swalot? 117. Okay. Above Pinkurchin? I'd go below Pin Pinkurchin. I'd go below Pinkurchin. I'd go below as well. Um, I'd keep above Ominite, probably. I think so. Yeah, I think it's a good, perfect spot. All right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right, Alamola right. number one nineteen. Yes, mm -hmm. that sucks. Now go heal some of the wounds we've given some of these other fish this evening, Aloma Mola. As I know. Wait, do we hate we water go types? Right... What, what Maybe. happened here? <laughs> well, Squirtle got really high. Okay. Yeah. 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 There we go. Uh, another water type. Seven out of ten. Too much water tonight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Basculin. So, yeah. fun fact, this is one of the first uh, shiny Pokemon I caught, I think. Wow. And, uh, oh. Sword and Shield or whatever. Yeah, this does have two variants. Yeah, the blue and the red stripes. Yep. Uh, they get along very poorly. They'd start fighting instantly if they see each other. These are extremely hostile Pokemon. What? So, they're beta like, fish? They're like... beta bass. They're like bass, but also beta fish. Beta bass. They're like rival gangs, red gang and blue ah, gang. Right. Uh, Makes sense. Is there anything else there. cool about it? They have a very uh, inoffensive light flavor. Mm, yummy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> inoffensive is how I describe my favorite food. Right, same. Uh, how I describe my favorite fish, to be honest. <laughs> inoffensive. Oh, but in Omega Ruby, they are remarkably tasty. It looks like mm. their flavor has degraded over time. So it brings it down the list, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> and it wasn't getting that high up in the first place, honestly. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if the best thing about you is that I could murder you and eat you and you would taste good, that's that's not a great Pokemon. Or at the very least, inoffensive. Sad. 
very sad uh so looking at some of our other fish it's like the luminion and remoraid are down there mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gorbis. worse than remoraid i think yeah uh, yeah worse than remoraid at least remoraid is cute this thing just looks like a lunatic <laughs> i think right below remoraid actually above scallopede okay I'll yeah down for it all right yeah, because Scullopede is kind of cool. I disagree, but that's fine. Really? <laughs> Dude, it reminds me of, like, a minotaur. I, I really like its weird little legs. That's fair. We can all like what we cool. like. Yep, that's right. You know what? Let's... We can agree to disagree. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a thousand Pokemon. Everyone has a favorite. That's true. Uh, and you next up on Scullopede the is your favorite, to be clear. No. Yeah, that's what I heard. No. Uh, wrong. <laughs> uh, the weed Pokemon Oddish. The weed Pokemon. 420. That's up. what they so call like, him you on. Like this one, then. Yeah, I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of the design. <laughs> um, Dude, it sows seeds as it walks about at night. That's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they're if they're weed seeds, like weeds, not weed. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there are weed seeds. Maybe uh, maybe Pokemon aren't real, guys. Just this one is real, and it's making just, weed everywhere. Dude, and it's everybody's making hell just weeds high. everywhere. I like uh, Fire Red. Its scientific name is Audium Wanderous. At night, it is said to walk nearly a thousand feet on its two roots. Oh, is that what those are? Those are roots. Uh, yeah, its feet are roots, mm-hmm. I guess. And they're fun oh, with that. I had neither. Probably because they don't really look at all like roots. But no, not at all. <laughs> It grows by bathing in moonlight. So it avoids the day. This is the opposite of a plant. I don't understand. That makes sense, because it grows into, like, a fungus. And fungus don't need... What? Gloom, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, gloom. shit, that makes sense. Huh. That's probably why its roots don't look like roots. Fungus roots look different. That mm. makes a lot why of sense. They can get away with them looking like feet. It's got baby uh, little red feet. eyes. That make me feel like it's about to murder somebody. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. But it does have a smile on its face, so you know it's friendly. It is very friendly. You know it's happy while it's killing somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Little demonic thing. And it is what? Grass? Poison. Grass and poison. Grass poison. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Classic uh, typing. Uh, below Bulbasaur, that's where oh, I'm looking for. Or it to can start. evolve into Blossom. Yeah, Vileplume or Blossom for its final evolution, which Blossom's cute. Oh, yeah, I we had the Blossom on the list at number 70. Oh. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like this Blossom. more than Blossom. Really? I would I say yeah, like it's significantly less than Blossom. Yeah, Blossom's cute. I like this less than Bellsprout. Oh, no. Uh, where's <laughs> I like Bellsprout? this a lot more than Bellsprout. Number 76. I, like I was going to say, like, okay. above Bellsprout is a thing for me, yeah. Okay. I'm down with that. But below I'm super cool with that. Okay. Yes, I would say so. I'm okay with that. All right. That Number 76, Oddish. It's like smack dab in the middle almost at this point. Good job, yeah. buddy. You did yeah, well. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Next up. Except I'm so stupid. Uh, Gigantamax Giraladon. Giraladon. Okay. Um, It is a building. Yeah, he's it's just a, a yep. building. It's so just weird. A, yeah, sword. It's grown to resemble a skyscraper. Parts of its towering body glow due to a profusion of energy. Uh, the hardness of its cells is exceptional, even among steel types. It has a body structure that's resistant to earthquakes. Well, that's good if you're going to be a skyscraper. Yeah, at least have like a true. proper makeup to survive earthquakes. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I don't hate this. Yeah, I don't know. My initial reaction is just that it's laughably silly that it looks like a building like there's a, a lot of pokemon that like you know clef is just keys or whatever but i think right. that's kind of charming and how silly it is this immediately strikes me as like wow that's stupid that thing's just a big ass building sitting in how, the middle of wait how big field. is this it's very big all gigantic 141 feet tall so 14 stories 14 stories that's huge Roughly, because the story's roughly 10 feet. That's terrifying. 
Yeah. I don't know. I would say based off of sheer size, this kind of goes up on the list for me because that would be terrifying to encounter. <laughs> like, comparably with other... I mean, I don't know too terribly much about Gigantamax, I guess, despite having played one at this point. But how does this... How does this fare against other Gigantamax Pokemon? Is it larger? Comparable? I mean, it, usually it's a it's a fight, not a size competition. So, no. <laughs> all, all the Gigantamaxes are big. Uh, let's... I mean, let's take Butterfree. I'm going to Google Butterfree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that, we know that one's just like, it's it's big. It's I'm big. just saying, like, if this thing... Gigantamax Butterfree is 55 feet. This is huge! I just scared my cat. She's <laughs> that is a it. butterfly, yeah. though, to be fair. Dude, I mean, this thing is massive. Wait, well, okay, community? let's take a, let's take a size. So oh, it's Megatrophia. normally oh, six wait. foot tall. No, yeah, still. Um, How about like Melmetal, Gigantamax Melmetal? How big is that thing? Oh, yeah, Mel. Because that's our lowest Gigantamax right now. Oh, is it Melmetal? <laughs> yeah, I, Mel. I'm getting eighty-two feet. This wow. thing is big, so I think this is higher than that. I mean, in a literal sense, yes. <laughs> in a literal well, sense. on the list, is, in a literal sense, in terms of stature, yes. No, uh, I would, I would, I would probably rank it higher. I mean, I, I agree, it looks fucking stupid, but the sheer size of this fucking thing. Yeah, but I think it's. I think that's impressive. A, I think a large majority of its size is that building thing, and the, its base is probably only like you know forty feet or fifty feet or something like the size oh, of a Gigantamax true. Butterfree. And you could just topple the top of that, you know? Dude, it looks pretty bottom heavy. I don't know. Does it have a tail? Does it have a little tail? Kind of, it looks like. Oh, yeah, like a little pointy tail. Yeah. Okay, so at least like 10 or 15, 20 feet of that's got to be the antenna sticking off the head. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would put it around Gigantamax Melmetal, probably. Compared yeah, I, was probably, I think I'd put it above. Wait, where? Which? where's that? 42. 42. Oh, shit. Okay, that's higher than yeah, I was we thinking. Yeah, we are high. <laughs> All the Gigantamaxes are pretty high. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they are pretty cool. I would maybe say just like one above. That's just me, though. I just think it's it's huge, and it would be really scary to encounter. I was going to say that. one below. I'm okay with one above. Let's do it. Gigantamax. Cool. What the hell's thing name? Daruda -du 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 do, uh, -U the, new, the new answer to life Sorry. at 42. Uh, I'll fix it. Next up I'll on the it. list, someone much, much shorter. Much smaller. Funnelby. It me. <laughs> <laughs> I like Funnelby. You're um, one foot four inches? Yes. No, but close. <laughs> uh, I think this is cute enough. Yeah, he's, cute. Just, he's a cute little bunny. Cute little bunny. I think it's evolved type, form is lame. Normal. Normal. Mm. Yeah, its evolution is normal ground, but its evolution looks dumb. The shiny form is pretty unextraordinary. <laughs> it's all gray. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is what it is. I like uh. The sword Pokedex entry, it excels at digging holes. Using its ears, it can dig a nest 33 feet deep in one night. Oh, wow. That's pretty impressive. It uses its ears? Those are some yeah. powerful-ass yeah, ears. It's got, like, yeah. fingers on the end of his ears. They're like a trance. Kind of scary. <laughs> uh, I think this is fine. It's definitely not extraordinary. Yeah. Let me see. I'm... I, I used one in uh, whichever gen that was. Was that Sword Shield? Or Sun Moon? Uh, it was XY. in Sword Shield. XY, but... wow. That was a long time ago. I would say under Grand Bull. Probably. For mm -hmm. me. I was looking around Stuffle. Where's that? 62. Mm -hmm. Good oh wow, that's place higher. To look to because this with guy's least. pretty cute. It is cute. I like Stuffle more because Stuffle is cute, but will also murder you if you try to pet it. Oh, the little bear thing. Yeah, this thing is way cuter. I think. I'd go. Pidgeotto could probably rip this thing's organs out. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Just the. Saying. Uh... The, sh the shield entry says it's very sensitive to danger. The sound of Corviknight's flapping will have Bunnelby digging a hole to hide underground in moments. So probably. Oh. 
Yes, okay, so. I'd go below Togepi, which is down at number 73. I see that. Yeah, I would okay say with that. Below, I'm totally cool with that, below Togepi. All right. Awesome, number 74. Good job, buddy. And that ends the list of 20 that the science machine Ooh. spat out at me last weekend. Yay! Skelly has brought along a Pokemon. It's right behind her. Yeah, you haven't been able to see it this whole podcast because her chair's yeah. blocking it. Uh, it's not going to move, I promise you. So you'll never know. Uh, I start getting like, really anxious about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, would, you, would you like for me to announce it? Yeah, who'd Can you bring? I brought Farfetch'd. Ta-da! Very cute! Has a <laughs> leak. Aww. Dude, what other Pokemon holds food? Alkermy is, is food. Vanillax as well. That, the ice cream cone. Pokemon. <laughs> There's it an apple is... pie dragon in Sword There's and an Shield. Apple pie you dragon. eat it. You eat it. You eat it, and it dies. This thing will give you its leak. Oh, it'll beat, beat the like shit nice out of you before it gives you that leak. That's true. Yeah. That's probably true. But dude, dude, cool ass Pokemon right here. Far fetched. Yeah, he's got a cool, angry unibrow. Uh, Dude, it's cute. And its have... evolved form is bad as hell. Breaking news, everybody. Red and blue Pokedex entry. The sprig of green onions it holds is a weapon. That's not a leak. It's green oh, onions. is it? Green onion. Uh, okay. Even though Surfetched specifically references it being a leak. Maybe uh, maybe the plant evolves with it, which is well, pretty Well, yeah, Galarian... Galarian Farfetch is uh, the one that evolves into Surfetch, right? Maybe Galarian. That's true. They oh, have leaks in has the, leak. the Galar region. Makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, and standard ones have uh, green onions, which, honestly, like green onions more, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I'll agree. But eat, yeah. th this guy has truly stood the test of time, right? Gen 1, and he's been in... Has there been a game he hasn't been in? Black and white. Just because they did that whole refresh thing where they only um, it, it was in black and white supposedly. There's like yeah, a there's Route a One post game maybe in the swarm. Yeah, in the swarm post games. Uh, uh, Ruby Sapphire Emerald. You had to trade. Oh really? Yeah. Trade um, what? You like trade it into the game, oh. like you couldn't catch it in the wild. Oh. Uh, Sun and Moon. You would have had to bring it in through the Pokemon Bank. I don't know anything about any of this shit. This sounds really <laughs> fucking complicated. Anyway. But yeah, I mean, he's a, cool. he's, he wields a weapon, which is one of the few in that first gen, especially, that, like, it's not just, I'm a bird and I'm going to slap you with my wings. He's got a weapon. Yeah, he'll smack you around with his, his green onions. Yeah, mm -hmm. I could see him doing some cool bow staff stuff there, flipping it over his wings and shit. Yeah, so mm -hmm. cool. Start singing, let's I get down to business. Him. Let's do yeah, the Huns. The Huns. Yeah, so this guy's great. His um, number is 83. He's pretty high already in the Pokedex list. So okay. he's got to go high in the So we'll list put him at too. number 83? No. <laughs> is that what I'm hearing? Wait, let me that, see. What else that would be below Nagana. Put his Elekid down. <laughs> let me see what Nagana. No, this thing looks like that was the weird and uh syringe pokemon oh dude above this <laughs> fucking loser come on uh what Let's other birds see. do we have up higher i like this more than oricorio at 44 uh, mm, that's true 44 um let me see what this looks like it's like a dancing bird with four forms i think it's kind of cool think... but oh that's cool that's kind of cute. Oh, the shit, next I might like bird yeah, is <laughs> Talonflame above that. And I think I like Talonflame more well, than Farfetch'd. Talonflame, Flame. definitely. Yeah. Surfetch'd, I mean, 17. That's that's a that's a strong Pokemon. Surfetch'd is really cool. Talonflame looks kind of bad. Looks really cool. So we're looking somewhere between Oricorio and Talonflame. That's still a pretty big range. That is. Yeah. I would say, oh man, above Sableye. 
in my opinion, this is also. <laughs> I think I like the design the of this. <laughs> I do think I like the design of this more than I like Sableye, uh, and the fact that you can get more use out of a far fetched. Than a Sableye. Max Willaboom is fucking nuts looking. It's so weird. Yeah, I like it. Me too. I would say it's below. I would say far fetched is below that, but probably above Machamp in my opinion. Above Machamp. Machamp just looks like a wrestler. Yeah, that's just but a strong guy with four arms. Of arms. Strong dude. Lots of arms. And he would also beat Machamp in a fight by a lot. Flying yeah? and fighting. Ah! I'm fine with that. I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, right, cool. <laughs> Good job, buddy! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, also he's got an apostrophe in his name. Very rare. I know! It's super cool. I wish mm-hmm. I had an apostrophe in my name. I'm jealous. You could, right. you could make that happen, Chris. I'm going to do it. You're, I'm gonna put you're capable. I'm going to put between every single letter. I'm going to see apostrophe H, apostrophe R, so on. Wow, so Galarian on. Articuno looks really cool. Yeah, it's he's straight out of Persona 5. No joke. Yeah, yeah that's that's how uh, still sitting at number one for weeks now. No one has oh dethroned God. Galarian Articuno. I've tried. But <laughs> but... <laughs> Mega Rayquaza got close. Oh, let me look at this one. Oh, um, Mega Gengar is so fucking cool. He is. Yeah, yeah, Mega Gengar is good. But that does it for our list of 20 plus one Pokemon this evening. Yay! Skelly, thanks so much for joining us to, uh, to like, finalize the most important decisions of our lives. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this is a crucial list. It, 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 we need to take a lot of time. Yeah, I don't know if we mm-hmm. made it clear oh. enough that we have to submit this list to Game Freak, and if they don't agree, they will kill us all and all the guests we've had. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. I'm glad you're telling Maybe. me that now. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what is this episode going out? I'm going to explain to you. Uh... <laughs> oh, well, you got a year. The show's far from done. Okay, cool. Uh... <laughs> Plenty of time to plan. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to plug, Skelly? Uh, uh twitch stream a podcast uh... uh sure probably both of those i guess um on twitch i am real life skeleton and my friend and i do a podcast called a little uncouth you can find me on twitch via the twitch name as you said obviously <laughs> and then we're, we're everywhere that you listen to podcasts under a little uncouth so cool. that's me it's a fun podcast uh it's so unorganized yeah they'll i mean with the name and all uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's very on brand, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, every Tuesday over at twitch.tv slash Blunkers, I'm playing Pokemon. We're in Pokemon Crystal. Uh, basically cleared all of... Uh, oh, God, what's the name of that city now? The third the third town, the third one where Whitney is. Goldenrod. That's it. Uh, cleared all that. We're ready to uh, go get... We got Pseudo Wudo. We got Togepi. We showed the professor. He's like, oh, it's a Pokemon. Uh, you know, that all good things. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'll be doing that every Tuesday at 7 Eastern until I play all of the generations this year for the 25th Yay. anniversary. Awesome. Um, Chris, you stream too, right? I do. I stream on twitch.tv slash on Wednesdays. Uh, Resident Evil. Uh, very much similar to Pokemon. They've got similar energies, I think. Uh, I'm playing totally. for that. <laughs> playing through that entire franchise this year or the entire all the numbered entries one through eight uh we're we just started at the time that this releases we just started resident evil 3 make so come uh watch i'll be getting to resident evil 4 soon and you guys can all make fun of me a lot because i don't know that game well and i know people love that one that's definitely i guess i can uh let everybody know i'm playing disco elysium it's really good so far <laughs> i'm really enjoying it awesome <laughs> i need to play more of that Oh, it's so good. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us this week as we ranked 20 more Pokemon. We'll be back again next week because we are shackled to these chairs and can't leave. I hope you all have a wonderful time until then. And remember, gotta rank them all. Gotta rank them all, Pokemon. Pokemon.